city of Truro's visit made Duck very proud of being Great Western. He talked endlessly about it, but he worked hard too and made everything go like clockwork. The trucks behaved well, the coaches were ready on time, and the passengers even stopped grumbling. But the engines didn't like having to bustle about. There are two ways of doing things, Duck told them. The Great Western way or the wrong way. I'm Great Western and don't we know it, they groaned. They were glad when a visitor came. The visitor purred smoothly towards them. The fat controller climbed down. Here yeah, is Diesel, he said. I have agreed to give him a trial. He needs to learn. Please teach him, Duck. Good morning, purred Diesel in an oily voice. Pleased to meet you, Duck. Is that James and Henry and Gordon, too? I am delighted to meet such famous engines. And he purred towards them. The silly engines were flattered. He has very good manners, they murmured. Oh, we are, we are pleased to have him in our yard. Duck had his doubts. Come on, he said shortly. Oh, yes, said Diesel. The yard, of course. Excuse me, engines. And he purred after Duck, talking hard. Your worthy fat Sir Topham hat to you, ordered Duck. Diesel looked hurt. Your worthy Sir Topham hat thinks I need to learn. He is mistaken. We Diesels don't need to learn. We know everything. We come to a yard and improve it. We are a revolutionary. Oh, said Duck. If you're revol thingamy, perhaps you could collect my trucks while I fetch Gordon's coaches. Diesel, delighted to show off, purred away. With much banging and clashing, he collected a row of trucks. Duck left Gordon's coaches in the station and came back. Diesel was now trying to take some trucks from a siding nearby. They were old and empty. Clearly they had not been touched for a long time. Their brakes would not come off properly. Diesel found them hard to move. Pull, push, backwards, forwards. Oh, we... Oh, oh, the trucks groaned. We can't. We won't. Duck watched the operation with interest. Diesel lost patience. He roared and gave a great heave. The trucks jerked forward. Oh, oh they screamed. We can't. We won't. Some of their brakes broke, and the gear hanging down bumped on the rails and sleepers. We can't! We won't! Their trailing brakes caught in the points and locked themselves solid. Roared Diesel. A rusty coupling broke, and he shot forward suddenly by himself. Ho, ho, ho! Chuckled Duck. Diesel recovered and tried to push the trucks back. But they wouldn't move, and he had to give up. Duck ran quietly round to where the other trucks all stood in line. Thank you for arranging these, Diesel, he said. I must go now. Don't you want this lot? No, thank you. Diesel gulped. And I've, t I've taken all this trouble, he almost shrieked. Why didn't you tell me? You never asked me. Besides, said Duck innocently, you were having such fun being revel, whatever it was you said. Goodbye. Diesel had to help the workmen clear the mess. He hated it. All the trucks and coaches were laughing. Presently he heard them singing. Their song grew louder and louder, and soon it echoed through the yard. Trucks are waiting in the yard, tackling them with ease. Oh, show the world what I can do. Gaily boasts the diesel. In and out he creeps about like a big black weasel. When he pulls the wrong trucks out, pop goes the diesel. Ah! He growled and, scuttling away, sulked in the shed.